civil, African civil society organization. Um, let, me, let me start that again. A pan-African civil society. It's called um, Africa uh, point, uh, Two Point Project. Goodness me, they're trying, the, the autocue is not my friend this morning. <laughs> it basically is an organization that consists of young and emerging leaders from Africa and hosted a competition themed Startup Africa. The purpose was to gather minds that will come up with solutions that address common economic challenges that face the continent. Now, the three-day event took place in Cape Town this past weekend, and with us in studio is the organization's project manager, Clement Banjo, and uh, joining us in our Cape Town studio is the winner, oh, okay. Tomiso Zukuru. Good to have both of you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Good. Thank also you to you, much. welcome and congratulations you. to you, Tomiso. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, good. Thank We're going to talk... We'll talk to you in a short while, but let me, let me just uh, chat to Clement first and ask him, what is Africa 2.0? What exactly does it do? Okay, like you rightfully said, Africa 2.0 is a pan-African civil society organization that gathers young and emerging leaders from Africa um, and the diaspora who share a common vision to finding solutions capable of leapfrogging the development of the African continent. So um, these young and emerging leaders spend two years of research and came up with a Vision Africa 2.0 manifesto. The manifesto is a framework for development that has been endorsed by um, credible institutions such as, such as the Moe Ibrahim Foundation and, uh, and, the, and um, the international media as a credible um, framework capable, capable of unlocking Africa's potential. Um, within that manifesto, there are several pillars of which entrepreneurship is one of them. Hence, uh, the initiative Startup Africa um, Startup Africa, the basic idea of Startup Africa is basically to bring in pre-registered entrepreneurs into a room, um, invite mentors, industry experts, and um, potential investors as well. Startup Africa has been held in three other African countries. It was held in Johannesburg last year as well, and then um, Cape Town this past weekend. Uh -huh. And um, as far as um, what the success of the event is concerned, um, in our last event in Cape Town, we had um, we invested a venture capital firm, Seed Engine, from Johannesburg, and um, two of our entrepreneurs got funding of um, 100,000 rand each. Fantastic. And their businesses are actually um, they're actually um, live at the moment and making profits. Brilliant. Well, th those are success stories we like to hear about. Uh, to me, so let's talk to you now. All right. What what was your okay. idea? What what exactly is your business plan? <laughs> Uh, well, my business is called Cosmesis Medical. Uh, we address the need that currently exists in the prosthetics community for affordable, aesthetically superior medical cosmetics. Because once somebody is lost, is disfigured or is amputated, whether through congenital defect or disease or trauma, um, though they can live without having their limb, they can't live with a social stigma and sometimes they become reclusive and they can't uh, live a normal life. So we make uh, prosthetics that look as real as possible so that when they go out into society, they, they, they just treat as normal people. They don't get stared at. And unless you came close to them or you started um, addressing the issue, you wouldn't even know that they had a disfigurement. That's fantastic. This is an amazing idea. So now, now that you have won this prize, what, what actually do you get? What, what is the prize that comes with it? Um, there's a whole lot of uh, uh, prizes that you get. You get uh, business incubation, you get help um, with uh, launching a website and an online web presence. Um, what I got out of it the most was from the three-day seminar was networking with other entrepreneurs and, and getting to deal with them and actually work with them to solve each other's problems. Listen, this is fantastic. I mean, you're giving, you're giving great ideas like Tomiso, um, this, this head start. I'm also reading here that the organization was launched at the African Union Summit in Addis Ababa and the World Economic Forum in, in um, Davos. Are you in partnership with these agencies? Um, we currently are uh, working towards signing a, a memorandum of understanding with the African Union, whom we have a good relationship with. And um, broadly speaking, we, are, we, do tend to, we do have um, good relationships with a number of um, multinationals and international organizations um, towards tackling um, um, problems faced on the African continent. Yeah, I mean, how often is this this competition run? Is it is it an annual thing? I know that it, it goes all around Africa, but I mean, how does it work? Um, we f we go city by city, mm -hmm. and um, as far as South Africa is concerned, um, the next competition will be in Durban. In Durban. In Durban, yes. Um, and I have to mention as well, this particular uh, one in Cape Town um, was sponsored by the Royal Danish Embassy in South Africa. Okay. 
That's fantastic. Now, when is Durban? Um, in Durban, the date is yet to be confirmed, but um, so far we have um, a database of over 20,000 um, entrepreneurs within South Africa. So we will be updating um, interested parties um, once the data has been formalized. That's fantastic. Uh, to me, so what is this going to do for you and your business, getting an accolade like this? Um, it's going to launch us and hopefully we we'll get a lot of interest from funders and venture capitalists and they'll get on board um, and um, help uh, us realize our dream. So, Mr. do you have a website address or something for your business? Um, we're not up alive yet at the moment, although our parent company, uh, Cosmesis Studios, you can go to cosmesis.co.za and so see some of the work we're doing. Um, the skill that we've got to is from the film industry, so um, that's what that website is about. Excellent. Well, congratulations. We wish you all the best with your future ventures, which I'm sure is going to be a great success. Uh, Tumiso, thank, thank you, you for being much. our guest. Uh, Tumiso Tsukudu is the winner of this particular competition, and uh, great work that you're doing. Please keep it up. I think thank it's you. absolutely thank you for having fantastic. Me. Thank you. Clement Banjo, Africa Two Point uh, Project Manager, uh, joining us in studio, and this is an absolute pleasure having you here, Clement Banjo. All right, now, renowned artist Dawson Whitehead has been honored in Kimberley. Most of his artwork is on display, and the exhibition also acknowledges his contribution.